to go at it. Steelers Titans used to be in the same division and they meet for the second time this year. Steve McNair and Tommy Maddox. Maddox playing on the field where he was knocked out. First possession picked off by Samari Shake, rattle and roll. So the Titans in business right away and people would wonder if Maddox would think about the game. He obviously very soon would show that he was five. But Eddie George, early on, had the power going, running over Lee Flowers. Yeah, and look at the pad level. He gets down really low on Lee Flowers and just bowls him over, goes another four yards toward the end zone. And then McNair. Boy, is he the last year and a half. He's been about as productive as any quarterback you can see on the draw. Titans looking very strong early, 7-0. Next possession, third and 16, Tennessee. McNair to Drew Bennett at UCLA. What was he, Tom? Quarterback. He was a former quarterback, huh? Picks up a first down. McNair to Bennett. Wait, he was a what? He was a former quarterback. He was at college. That's a first down. Then McNair, he's a current quarterback. He's scrambling for a first down at second and six. Third and goal from the one. Eddie George, 16 play, 76-yard drive, nine minutes, and the entire first quarter is Tennessee 14. Nothing looks like a blowout, Tommy, until at their own eight. It's the fumble. Yeah, Eddie George fumbles the ball, ran into his own man before he secured the handoff, and you don't want to fumble the ball this deep in your own territory. Well, so Pittsburgh, who done nothing all of a sudden in business, and then Maddox to Heinz Ward. What was he at Quest College? He was a former quarterback. He was at the touchdown. It's 14-7, two read field goals. One that kissed the upright, make it 14-13 at the half. KC Hampton nails Eddie George. He's knocked out, helmet to helmet, fumble, and while he's there, it forgets it. Yeah, and I thought a great call by the official. He never had control of the football. Aaron Smith stepped in, pulled it out from under him, recovered it for the Steelers. Now, almost like that Patriot play, but he was out of bounds. Remember, unconscious, that was packed. At any rate, famous Amos Airway bounces outside. The Steelers have done it again. Down by 14. They've scored 20 unanswered points. It's 20 to 14. Pittsburgh. Tennessee now. Near midfield, third and one. McNair. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi, three Tennessee, four Tennessee, five. To Frank Wycheck, wide open inside the five. Wycheck, who caught only nine balls the last five games, is about to have a 10 spot in this game. McNair, Wycheck, 10 catches, no laterals. Titans lead 21 20. Next possession, Pittsburgh, Tennessee. McNair says, You know, I used to go to Frank Wycheck all the time. Look at him, by time, and Wycheck knows how to get open. 21 yards, 12 of 18, third down for Tennessee. That was key. Then, first and goal from the two. Little play action, even though George is hurt. Aaron Kinney with the touchdown. And so now, Tennessee with two straight scores, 48-20. Antoine randall -El. He told you he's the X Factor, but as he does, go all the way. An illegal block in the back on Bad my father. Yeah, he's a bad man. Shut your mouth. Uh, talk about Mama Fowler, though. We can't dig it. And Bill doesn't <laughs> dig that call at all. But after that, he gets his team fired up and give Pittsburgh the nod. Touchdown, wiped out penalty. Maddox to Heinz Ward, who in college was a... He used to be a former quarterback. He's a quarterback. It's a touchdown. Pittsburgh scores 28-26. Fake to Randall L. Pitch to Ward. He was a quarterback. He throws the first. It's like the windmill in the miniature golf. Look at this ball go through the Tennessee hand. Yeah, what a great throw to the back of the end zone. And you see how close it got to being picked off. And two-point conversion good. We're tied at 28 all. There. Ward catches. Land shoulders eh, close, but flag. Well, they call helmet to helmet, but you look at the hit right there. It looked like Lance made sure he hit him with the shoulder first. And Maddox and Coach Jeff Fisher having words you don't like to see. It's still a kick field goal off the lead. 31-28 midway through the fourth quarter. McNair to Bennett. Bennett was a former quarterback. He was a quarterback. He runs it down <laughs> to the 22-yard line. That sets up Joe Nettner. 42 yards. It's a nice draw for the left footer. Good. Tied at 31 all. Meanwhile, Steve McNair banged his hand, lacerated hand, missed a couple plays. Very painful. Neil O'Donnell was in shortly. McNair, screen to Derek Mason. Get out. Get out of bounds. He can't do it. Dick, 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 dick. Third and one, they spike the ball. So with eight seconds to go, fourth and one, tie game. Too long for a field goal. What a play here. Yes, they have enough time to hit Holcomb, get out of bounds, and set up Nedney. 48 yards. No good. No good. We go to overtime. 31 all. Titans win the toss. First drive. McNair 
to Justin McCarron. See, names you don't hear that much. He beat Dwayne Washington. Then, next play, McCarron. And unfortunately for Pittsburgh, Dwayne Washington slept here because McCarron beats again and gets out of bounds. And then, getting in range for Joe Nedney. This is bizarre. 31-yard field goal. Good. Wait a minute. Pittsburgh called timeout just before. They forgot to tell the fireworks operator at the stadium, so they blew up all that. It didn't count. We're still tied. Now, Coward says that's a great show. Try and make it. Kick up. No good. The Steelers have survived, but it's Dwayne Washington running into five-yard penalty, the kicker. Yeah, and you take another look at it. He comes a little bit wide on his approach. Nedney comes through the kick, makes contact. But we're going to hear a little bit from Nedney after these highlights. Well, so they get another chance. And this time, the 26-yard field goal, good. Although Pittsburgh wanted to call timeout. Now, Pittsburgh was saying, Tom, what? They were told they didn't have any, but they, but then they waited too long to try to call this, it looked yes, like. At the, at the last minute, looked like he was facing the play clock. Before he called timeout, the snap had already been made. Yeah, but Bill Cower had some pretty good speed here and let Ron Blum know that they mishandled a couple of things. It just, it, it's just a rough way for a boy to find. And for a game, this score, 34-31 Tennessee in overtime, you don't expect a high-scoring game to be so hard-hitting. This was hard hitting, albeit with 65 points in it. Tennessee wins in overtime. Afterwards, all the talk was on the kicks. Brett calls timeout about a hundredth of a second before we snap the ball. Fireworks go off, people cheer. No more pyrotechnics. <laughs> um, and then I hit the worst kick of my entire life, and somebody smacks me right in the ankle, and I get a chance to redeem myself. It's unbelievable. Um, I went from feeling about that tall to, you know, king of the world for a week. I saw a kicker who had kicked the ball, had taken a couple of steps, and Dwayne, sliding on the ground, fell into him. For a game to be decided on that call is ludicrous. And for me to have to explain to an official of what's reviewable and what's not, that's wrong. Find me if you want. That's the truth. He got a pretty good hit on me, but I think when I'm done playing ball, I might try acting. <laughs> the legends are made of, you know, the playoffs or, or, or it's a platform for legends, and I think he's demonstrated that today. You know, because uh, it looked really bad on the sidelines. He had his he had his coat on, his hat on, I didn't see his helmet in sight. But I just saw him make a decision, said, nah, we're not going out like this. And I managed to fight through it and go back out there and, and, you know, drive my team down to the winning field goal. Well, we spent all this week talking about how you weren't on the injury report for the first <laughs> time in two months. Now you have a bandage on your hand again, and you're in question for the AFC championship game. Well, I finished the game. So it's, it's regardless of if I'm on the injury list or not, I'm...